This is a quick tutorial to show you how to set up a social media dashboard and create a social media report in Google Analytics. So the first thing you do when you log into your Google Analytics account, you're going to look for your dashboard over here. And you want to create a new dashboard. Your default dashboard looks something like this, new visits, unique visits, things like that. Um, you want to create a new dashboard. And we are going to, for the sake of simplicity, import a social media dashboard from the gallery. And there's one right here. So we'll import that. And just to make sure if you have more than one account that you're on the right account. So it's for this website. We'll say OK and create. Okay, so now it has, um, with this template, many social media tracking um, widgets. All of these widgets um, are available for you to create. Some of them are custom, and you would have to create them yourself. So if you feel like in the future you're going to need these widgets, I would recommend that you um, save them, even if you have no data right now. For example, one that I would save is the most socially shared content. Um, the source value, if you don't have any maybe revenue attached, you might want to delete that. Um, if you if you don't have a website that actually creates revenue, um, read an article. That's a good one to create, and that goes with the conversion goals. That's a conversion goal uh, thing that you read an article. So I'm going to delete online on site social actions because I need some widget space and the reason I need widget space is you only are allowed to have 12 widgets per dashboard and I need to have a widget that shows where my visitors are coming from so we're going to add a widget and we'll call it um, locations uh, click on geo map and then say that you want to add a table and the metrics that I want to track are visits from certain locations and then I would like to know um, how many pages per visit these people actually viewed so let me go find it Okay, pages per visit is what I'm going to add here. And then we save, and we're going to have that on there. So I see that the main countries that people are visiting from and how many pages they visited from these countries. Now we want to add the segments. Um, these used to be called advanced segments. The Google Analytics dashboard has changed. Um, so now they're just segments for your reporting. So, And if you notice, if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, make sure that you're clicked on reporting right here, up here. So um, once you click the little arrow, I'll go back to where you were, there's a little arrow right here. It defaults to all visits, okay? Consider all of these little blocks your segments. So right now we have all visits. But we want to add some social media visits. So I've already starred Facebook and Twitter. Now, let's say there's a social media um, social media account that you would like to add that isn't defaulted here in your segments. What you can do is copy another social media segment. I'm going to copy blogger. And then you just add in which type of social media, um, the URL for the type of social media you would like to track. Um, so maybe for me, I get a lot of visits from TravelPod. So I would like to put uh, TravelPod.com right there. And we're not going to add a filter right now because that's a little bit more advanced than we want to do. Oh, we have to have the segment name, so we'll call that TravelPod. Okay. All right. So now we have um, defaults to travel pod. We got to open this up again because it thinks we only want to look for travel pod, but we don't. First thing I want to know is all visits 
and then travel pod Facebook and um, Twitter that's the one I want I also have Pinterest and YouTube on here it just depends on what you want and when you don't want them you just delete it off of here and say okay I don't want that on my report today it only allows you up to four um, it only allows you up to, to four segments on here and as you're gonna see in a second that's gonna be more than enough because um, it kind of junks up your report if you do any more. Okay, so we'll go down and say apply. Okay, so now we know um, visitors from these countries, did they come from Facebook or Twitter? And we can see that we have one from Singapore that came from Facebook and another from Germany. Now, if you're having a lot of engagement, this is going to be really important. If you don't have a lot of engagement, what that's telling you is, okay, come up here, I have 82 people from the United States. None of them came from social media. Now, this is our social media report, so this is all we're tracking right now. If we wanted to do a keyword report, then we would look for that segment, add that widget, and um, find out where they were coming from. So let's move this around and make this look a bit nicer. You gotta, it'll have a little green highlighted thing when you can actually place it somewhere. I'll put it right here. Oops. Um, so that, you know, we want to try to make it look nice so that it can print out on one page. So we'll add this up here, and maybe this over here. Okay, and now when you're ready to do your report, you're just going to scroll up and export to PDF. And that will give you a report. And that's all you really need to do. That's simple, simple social media report. Um, if you wanted to add, like I said, different widgets, you have to delete some of these because you're not allowed to have more than 12. But you could add, um, you have lots of options to add um, widgets. You can do timeline, uh, counter, and then you add the metric. Okay, so what is this? Um, let's say we want to show, um, time on page or something like that. I have a goal that I want to know which one's, uh, linked from one of my other sites. So I could add that metric and save, and I would add that widget and it just shows, um, from this page, which was a URL, uh, which visitors came and um, where did they come from in terms of social media. So we have Facebook and Twitter on there as well. So just an idea for you to set up your social media report. And I encourage you to look around Google. You can report on anything in Google. Another social media report that you can simply do is to come down here go to social, go to overview, you view your full report, and you can export that as well as a PDF. Same thing, you can add any segments you want from here. We can throw Blogger up there, YouTube, and Facebook. Push apply, and then we have a report for this page. It's not the dashboard. It's different. It's just our social media page, but you can easily export that just like you did your dashboard. I think the dashboard is a better overall view. It gives a more complete um, report, but you could add, add this for a little bit more specific um, reporting on Blogger. This has Blogger, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and 
Facebook because this is actually where traffic came from. So this is social media traffic that Google reported to me. I didn't have to set up these segments for LinkedIn and Google Plus and that type of thing. It reported to me that that's where they were coming from. So those are your ideas for setting up social media reports in Google Analytics.